What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today is Monday, July 27th. Before we jump into the update, just a reminder, our day trading class is happening on August 6th at 4 p.m. If you want to follow along on kind of our daily performance and posts, make sure you join our private Facebook group. Just go to Facebook and search for Day Trading Options for Income or search for Navigation Trading, and you can join there. We post every day to show you exactly what we're doing from a performance standpoint, and then we'll teach you the details on August 6th. We will also be sending out an email with the registration to save your spot for that web class, but save the date, August 6th at 4 p.m. Central Time. And then again, you can follow along here on Facebook. All right, so let's jump to what's going on. So big earnings this week. The first big one is McDonald's, and that's before the open tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning. I've been looking at that, didn't really have a duck that would set up, no iron ducks, but very liquid, very tradable. And then after the close tomorrow, some other very liquid stocks, AMD, Visa, eBay, Starbucks. We'll be taking a look at some things in there. And then on Wednesday, the big boys really kick off. You've got Boeing and Facebook. You've got PayPal. You've got Shopify, although sometimes the options are a little wide in there. And then on Thursday, you've got Amazon, Apple, Alphabet, which is Google, and Exxon on Friday. So some big names this week. We'll be posting in our community about some uh, some plays that we're doing, as well as alerts of plays we're doing, especially on Amazon, Apple, and potentially Google. I may not do all of them. Facebook for sure too. We'll be looking at. Depends on how they're setting up right before the earnings announcement, but uh, we'll be looking at some plays there. So What's happening in the markets today? Well, this is Tesla just start off. It's up a little bit on the day. And when I say a little bit, I mean almost 4%. That's a tiny move these days for Tesla. <laughs> I mean, look at these big bars we've been seeing. So, But it is. It looks like it, it came down after earnings, and now it's starting to bounce again. So we'll see where that goes. Some of the other big stocks, I mean, Wynn is down 4%. We've got a lot of tech up. If we look at just the indices... S&P is up 20, Dow's up 114, NASDAQ's up 140, Russell's up 10. Now, we've still got a couple hours before the, the market closes today, uh, but the metal's moving again. I mean, look at gold and silver. Gold's up almost 2%, silver almost up 7.5%, just a massive move on top of a massive move in silver. I mean, we were talking about $17 was the price, I mean, even just a few months ago is down to you know under 15 and now it's over 24 dollars so massive move in metals bonds are pretty flat today natty gas down a little bit some of the other stocks like i said the nasdaq is up a lot of tech is up apple up two percent amazon up a percentage uh, boeing's down a couple percent banks are down uh, tech is up travel is down to flat and so Continuing to see some rotation back and forth in the different sectors, mainly between tech and financials, tech and financials, and then obviously travel, but that's not, that sector is pretty small compared to tech and financials. So seeing that kind of rotation continue to happen. So what did we do today? Well, uh, we did some day trades and then we also did a new weekly double calendar in SPX with implied volatility contracting today. Looks like a good time to put that on. And we'll be looking for some more trades later this week. So everybody have a great evening. Talk to you tomorrow.